Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm going to show you how to properly back the screw out of a Spyderco knife that has way too much thread locker in it. I have come to the conclusion that Spyderco, they must have this thing at the shop where they let the employees bring in their kids, five and under, to put in the thread locker and some of the screws in their knives. Kind of like a little arts and crafts, family bonding time. I th I'm, I'm now certain they're doing that because I came across, I think, the fourth knife now that I've pulled hair out trying to back a screw. Get this, the, trying to back the screw out of one of their knives. Um, two of them I had to send into them to have them do it for me, which they charged me five dollars for shipping on top of the brand new knife I already bought. And I'm, I was just tired of doing it. And I told myself I was not going to send this one in. I was going to figure it out on my own. And I did. And I'm going to show you. And you do it with needle nose pliers, a soldering iron. And this is the real key right here, a rubber band, a rubber band, preferably about this, this wide. And here's what we do here. So you guys probably know the first step. You take the soldering iron, you hold it in the screw right here. And while the soldering iron's hot, of course, and you build up the heat in the screw, um, hold the heat there for, I, I did it about a minute. Now, keep in mind, this screw is already obviously backed out. I just have it screwed in for uh, instructional purposes. I'm holding the soldering iron in here for about a minute. After a minute, I take this off. Then I come around here, and I hold the compression lock down. And I put this rubber band right here. Then, with my pliers, I'm going to just grip grip the put the piece right here and hold it like this. Now, if I let go, this, this may fall apart on me because, like I said, the screw's already backed out. But I'm holding this right here with a rubber band on that metal piece that the, that the screw is stuck in. So you hold that right there like this. Then you take your screwdriver, and while you're squeezing that real hard, take your screwdriver and slowly start to back the screw out, and that will do the trick. The problem, if you don't have the rubber band, is that little metal part here. One more time here. I'm just going to hold it right here so you guys can see what I'm doing. I just got that rubber band on the little metal piece that the screw's in. You hold it really hard like that with the heat at, after the heat was already applied to it. And you just slowly back the screw out with your screwdriver. But what that does is that rubber band holds this, holds this in place from spinning on you. And that is the game changer. This rubber band made it possible for me to get this screw out. And as you can see, it's a, uh, yeah, it's out. So, so that was it, guys. I just wanted to show you that. It's a nice little trick, especially when Spyderco likes to do that to their customers and make it just a pain in the butt to get their screws out with too much thread locker. That's how you fix it. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you ever have that happen to a spider code, give that a shot. I can almost guarantee you it'll work. I hope this helped. And until the next one, I'm out.